welcome to this Photoshop tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at the photo filter adjustment in Photoshop. Um, I'll admit it's not something I use a ton, uh, but it is pretty cool. There's a couple little things that I do use it for, so I'm going to share that with you and show you maybe, maybe get you started using it, see how you can use it for yourself. There's much more to photo filter than just some crappy sepia images that you've seen other people make. Before we jump into it, let's talk about our sponsor this month, April of 2016. We've got graphicstock.com and it's creative rewards month over at graphicstock.com. You can sign up 39 bucks for a six month uh, subscription to their stock photography library, over 300,000 photos, vectors, illustrations, you name it. Um, it's all royalty free as well. So when you download it, you get to keep it. You can use it for whatever you want. There's a link down in the description to this video. Uh, so if you're looking for a young couple sitting on a bench in, in a shopping mall, well, voila, there you go. You got it. Graphicstock.com. Check them out. All right. So let's talk about the, uh, the photo filter. First and foremost, the photo filter is located here under images adjustments. Uh, images adjustment, photo filter, the way I like to use it though, layer, new adjustment layer, and uh, photo filter right there. Really, I use it over here in the adjustments panel. I can just choose photo filter from the icon. Um, now, there are a number of things you can do with the photo filter. We just added one, obviously. It gives us a warming filter. Preserve luminosity is the default. We can crank the density of the filter way up and you can see we get sort of this orangey version of the photo. Now this might be enough for you, just a nice warming filter. You can also go with a cooling filter. You can choose, you know, a green filter. Uh, they've got deep emerald. They've got underwater. If you sort of want the image to look like it was shot underwater, or maybe it is an underwater image and you want to intensify that, something to keep in your back pocket as you're working. You got violet, all kinds of different colors. And then you can even choose your own custom color by choosing color and then just choosing from the color picker uh, whatever you darn well please. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do something here before we get started. I'm going to choose color and I'm just going to grab a light blue. In fact, actually, let's just go with one of the built-in filters, the, the blue filter here. And we're going to make sure the density is all the way at 100%. We're going to uncheck, however, preserve luminosity. We don't want that. So it's this kind of crazy blue overlay. It, it looks really bad. We're going to choose a blend mode of exclusion. Now it looks worse, but something interesting is happening here. The way that exclusion is applying this photo filter, if we reduce the opacity, we're going to get a really, really cool, like 1940s, really, I guess, 50s, 60s, into the early 70s looking image that would have been shot for a commercial, an advertisement, you name it. Uh, and in fact, I have an action here that I like to use to just add a bunch of noise, and it just piles on two different kinds of noise. If we zoom way in on this image and just get that really gritty, grainy look, I'm going to increase the opacity of the grain even more. We really get that gritty, grainy look. Uh, the color is 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 pretty spot on with what you would have seen in one of those old um, you know both shot on film and printed on the old style presses uh, it's really really cool so exclusion filter with blue and then or I'm sorry the photo filter with blue set to the blend mode of exclusion reduce the opacity until it looks good just something to keep in your back pocket one of the other cool things you can do with it let's just go ahead and set the blend mode back to normal and opacity back to 100 I'm gonna double click on uh, the photo filter I also like to use underwater and even deep emerald um, for, well, I'm going to tick on preserve, uh, preserve luminosity here again. If we set this to like the blend mode of multiply and then reduce the opacity, um, you get kind of this really neat washed out, almost visco film style effect. Uh, you can try just unchecking preserve luminosity. It gives you less of a, uh, less contrast as you can see. I also like to do this with underwater, and it's a really, really neat, I mean, just so cool. I don't know how to describe the look. Um, it's just such a film, washed out, low contrasty kind of look that you get. Um, and I just have the you know, blend mode of multiply. I'm going to uncheck preserve uh, luminosity again. To, I really like that low contrast look. It's so cool. There's just so many really neat things you can do with photo filter other than just slap this orange photo filter on top uh, that's going to end up being just a, you know a, a boring sepia effect over your black and white image and not that you can't do that by the way I'll just show you how to do it just so I don't leave you hanging here let's convert our image to a quick black and white by using the gradient map boom black and white great turn on photo filter uh, set it to a blend mode of normal opacity of 100% again we'll go filter we'll just go with the very warm filter uh, we'll go preserve luminosity and maybe just reduce the overall density of uh, the the photo filter try shutting off preserve luminosity actually it's kind of more of an old school uh, sepia effect. Maybe I'll actually go straight with a color. Just choose a less, a less saturated orange, right? Maybe something like that. 
pump up the density a little bit more. Try preserving the luminosity. Now, nah, see that still just makes it too light when you preserve the uh, the luminosity. There we go, something like that. And you can choose how uh, how close to the 1890s you bring it, depending on how much of the effect you pour into it there. Uh, and and there you go, you create a quick sepia image, whatever. Not really the way that I like to work with it. I like to use that nice underwater effect uh, with a multiply blend mode. Maybe reduce that opacity quite a bit. Don't preserve uh, luminosity. And you just get a really, really cool film style photo so, so quickly. Just one adjustment layer, throw some grain on top of it. And there's a bunch of tutorials. I've done a bunch of tutorials on adding grain. Um, and there you have it. So for the photo filter adjustment in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. NathanielDodsonTutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.